Welcome to Be Latina's virtual pop-up shop, where we talk to extraordinary small business owners in the Latinx community about their business, inspirations, aspirations, and all things business. My name is Gloria Malone, and I'm your host. I'm here with the founders of Posh Palma Styles, Valerie and Jelly, two Dominican women who are here on a mission. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> We're here to, to stay. We're here to uplift and to empower. I love it. Can you tell me more about, well, first, what's the name of your business? And tell me a little bit more about the mission of your business. So the name of the business is Bush Palma Styles, which thank you so much for pronouncing it the way that it was. <laughs> um, so right now, our mission is honestly to help educate women, to help uplift, to help empower, to help the, to help the women like disrupt, you know, like believe in herself and feel confident in her own skin. That is that we do it through talking through fashion apparel and accessories, where later on we're going to be evolving into home goods and furnishings and other you know areas of art and everything creative. But honestly, we're all about empowering women. And, and showcasing also for our audience, the importance of building community. Because mm -hmm. a big part of what we do is not that you just come to our site and you're gonna be shopping for clothes. Obviously the clothes that we have, it's beautiful, but it's so much more than that. You're investing, you're, you're putting your purchasing power in uplifting community. And we wanna be an example of, you know, the importance of having that community and backing it up, you know, and supporting and showing up for your people. That's beautiful. And so when did you all launch your business? On June 18th of this year. <laughs> like we were working on it on the pandemic. Like and the social <laughs> craziness and everything else going on. Oh, wow. So, okay. So you launched this year in June at the midst of everything. Yeah. Um, when did you first have the idea for the business? The idea actually uh, came to mind in January of 2020. So it was fairly new. Uh, Valerie was living in Mexico when this all happened, but um, it came to me and right away I thought of her. She's also my sister-in-law, so I'm married to her older brother. Um, so we have great chemistry, great connection, and our worlds just came together and I pitched her the idea. She said, yes, uh, we oh, ran yeah. with it. COVID happened. She was living in Mexico, border was closing. She was shipped to Miami. I got scared, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this was this was honestly the best thing that could have happened to us because really and honestly, it was an escape from everything that was going that on was this year yeah. and all of our struggles and all of our challenges. And, and we were busy like, yeah, yeah, we were very busy just working in this baby that is now, you know, Posh Palma Styles. So you touched on it a little bit, but what is like your main source of motivation for this business? I think a lot of it has to do with one being an, an example, but also we want to see more girls and women that look like us making it happen. Mm. So it's a lot of it. It's not just what we're building now for ourselves, but more for generations to come, for women to yeah. come. So like the way we function and the way that we look, even when we plan ahead, is how can we pave the way for more women to feel empowered to kick ass and take ownership of their lives and not have to worry about no man, like literally nobody, because you got that in you and you can so do that. Like, I want to look at the CEO and say, hey, that girl looks like me. Uh, you know, that woman like, looks I like Jelly. I could do that. So a lot of it is just us building that path for other women and also being an example. She has a daughter, you yeah. know, she's my niece and like, we look at all these girls back from like Dominican Republic, from like the barrios that we're from and all of this stuff. And we want to make sure that they can, we can be an example, you know, like a positive example for once and that we can change the narrative. Beautiful. I love that so much. And it's so important, right? Like it's like a lot of the, and that's a common thread that I've been hearing, right? It's like that my business is about community. It's about building community um, and about, impacting the ways in which we see ourselves in this world and how those who are coming behind us are able to see examples of what's possible for them. Um, that's how you create change. That's the only way, especially with this year. That's, that's how you create That's change. the way to do it. You know, you have to have a story. And like she said, I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. I need to set an example for my boy as well. I want him to know how, how a woman could be independent, how yeah. a woman should be supported, mm -hmm. how a woman should be loved. Yeah. That you have the tools, you know, like 
or setting up those tools because for a long time we didn't have those tools we didn't have those resources so now it's like not only are we doing it but we're building that too beautiful you know? so let's get back to the the shop right now for a minute so you all right now are offering clothing i would love to know like what is the most popular item on your store right now well the first top was the like so i think we had a signature mm -hmm. top for the first collection which was all palmas so we're very tropical we like to describe our brand we're very bohemian caribeña right we're very um we're about the effortless look you know, um, we want you to feel confident. Again, we want you to embrace your body. So we want you to feel it through our clothing. Um, we also work with brands like women-led brands, women-led designers, artisans. So we love to work with that connection, you know, and those brands that have that that impact component. Exactly. Where you're doing something, whether it's socially or whatever, however it is that you're giving back to the world, to the community, to the environment. Um, so we're very... Um, cognizant of how how we build those connections and those relationships yeah but i think that top was definitely one of yeah. the the go-tos and then for the second time we also did like a palma dress that was like a como como un, como un vestido en forma del top and people also loved it so because we are launching different collections throughout we offer to like our audience um priority and they love that um, and this headpiece is too. People have yeah. We have these them. that were done and hand done in Dominican Republic, and they sold out like right away because it's a statement piece, you know. Exactly. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Like, Thank you. We have focus too. on the next ones, you know. <laughs> Let me know. I want one in yellow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so, what has been? So, you you all are still very fairly new. But you're making an impact and so what has been one of the challenges of being a business owner so far i think there's so many <laughs> i think it's for us where i think has been at least for me but uh, like pushing through and like staying very close to our reason why we exist and why we started this because we talk about it, I think, almost on a daily basis of how hard it is to be an entrepreneur, it's hard. how hard it is to run your own business and how it has people see it a way where it's not like like that. And for us, like even even for our family, like we're now gaining respect towards what we do. And it's like we're doing what we love, but it's it's hard to show up every day. And and and, you know, and we do it for our community, but because we love it. So exactly. you just have to be really clear as to what you're doing and have your heart completa, like have it in there, and you know? Como que nunca puedes, like you could never do anything with half of your heart. Mm. You have to put your whole heart in it. And and I would say like that has been, but also like, I think staying creative sometimes is really difficult because you gain inspiration and creativity by traveling, by interacting with different people, by like, you know, so right now all you have is like a Pinterest board plus, you know, like you could look at music videos and things like that, but it's a lot of recycling that it's being done. And when you want to build something that's based on like being authentic and like being genuine, keeping that creative soul and that creative spirit, it's tough. Um, so yeah, it's like finding those sources of inspiration and creativity and really sticking to them. I appreciate you guys being so honest about that, right? Like Oftentimes people are like, oh, you start a business, you it's great, it's wonderful, it's this and that, but like, it's they hard. It's it. a like, lot of work. Entrepreneurship is so romanticized. And I'm like, bro, like, look at our bags. Like, we <laughs> haven't slept in three days. Like, what are you talking? Like, I'm a zombie now, you know? So. so on the flip side, what has been your most memorable or like impactful customer or business experience so far? I think seeing the fact that we've been planting seeds since day one mm -hmm. and every single thing what we uh, we have done has been based on intentionality yeah. and being authentic and then seeing that seed grow and then you see it and you feel it in your heart in your gut and every part of you so it's like como lo que tú le metes mano sale bien yeah. and then we've been planting those small seeds and I'm not going to tell you out here that we're like the most profitable business or like we're the most successful business plan and like none of that. But the reality is that we've been planting a seed in our community and our community has demonstrated it's, it's that flourishing. they're loyal 
And that shit is flourishing. And we're proud of that because we've been witnessing that. Yeah, like, it's funny because we drop where, as we drop more collections, I told Valerie, I'm like, I feel so fulfilled because the people that might have not shopped with us the first time around or even the second time around are shopping now the third time around. Yeah. Why? Because we're showing up. Why? Because we're, we're being intentional. We're being consistent. And these people, I understand it. it takes time. I'm a consumer as well. You're a consumer. Like we're all consumers. Like it takes time for you to build a credible business and for people to trust in you. So that's like beautiful to see, to, to see, see people, them. you know, coming and supporting, supporting yeah. us. And for any entrepreneur too, like it's a matter of planting those seeds, but if you do it based out of love, passion and like intentionality that's going there's no way like it's going to flourish and it's going to be beautiful and right now it's flourishing for us i love it yes. uh, so where can people find well where do we go to find you your business so we can make sure that we are ready right ready for that next drop where can we find you all online so our website is poshpalmastyles.com Instagram poshpalmastyles and give them your personal I have my personal which is Gelsandra G-E-L-S-A-N-D-R-A underscore Guzman G-U-Z-M-A-N Yes and I am Valerie D. Jefa Creator Oh, she said La Jefa. Okay, Valerie. <laughs> she is La Jefa. No. You got it. You got to embrace yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you so much for your time, um, for the heart that you put into your business. And I'm excited to continue to see the drops that you all come out with. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you for taking your time. This was awesome.